Vaid Halilid a three-quarters year is a former Bosnian footballer turned manager, currently in charge of Turkish side Trabzonspor. Regarded as one of the best Yugoslav players in the 1970s and 1980s, Halilid a three-quarters year had successful playing spells with Vilea three-quarters Mostar, and French clubs Nantes and Paris Saint-Germain before retiring in the mid-1980s. He also appeared for the Yugoslav national team and was part of the squads which won the 1978 European Under-21 Championship before earning 15 full international caps for Yugoslavia. In the early 1990s he began managing and, after a short managing stint at his hometown club Vilea Three Quarters, permanently moved to France in 1993. Since then he managed a number of teams in French-speaking countries and his achievements include winning the 1997 CAF Champions League with Moroccan side Raja Casablanca, leading the French side Lille OSC from second level to third place in Ligue 1 in less than three years, and winning the 2004 Coupe de France with Paris Saint-Germain. He also qualified for the 2010 FIFA World Cup with Cartier Idva and the 2014 FIFA World Cup with Algeria. Playing career, early life and Vilea three quarters, born in Jablanica, Halilada three quarters year started playing football in his early teens at local Minos FK Turban at Jablanica, as the club's ground was located some 100 metres from his family home. According to his admission, he did not consider becoming a professional footballer at the time and instead chose to continue his formal education moving to the nearby city of the Mostar at the age of 14 to study at the local electro-technical high school, without ever appearing for Turbina in an official match. Nevertheless, it was in Mostar that he first started taking football seriously as he went on to join Yugoslav First League side Vilea Three Quarters Mostar Academy at the age of 16, in part on the insistence of his brother Salem, who at the time played for the club as a striker. Halilid a three-quarters year then went on to play there at youth levels for the next two and a half years, and, upon signing a professional contract with the club, was sent on a six-month loan to second-level side and met Curvia to gain some experience. Upon his return from loan, he quickly broke into the first-team squad in the 1972 Euro 73 season, forming a successful attacking partnership with Dua and Bajavia and helping Vilea three-quarters finish the season as league runners-up behind powerhouse Red Star Belgrade. Halilid a three-quarters year then went on to become one of the club's key players throughout the 1970s, appearing in a total of 376 matches and scoring 253 goals for the club before leaving the country in September 1981 to join French side FC Nantes. Earlier that year he was instrumental in winning the club's first major silverware, scoring two goals in their three Euro 2 Yugoslav Cup final win against Angstrom 1 half Elges ELR. Nantes and PSG, at Nantes Halilid a three-quarters year immediately became a first-team regular, scoring seven goals in 28 appearances in the 1981 Euro 82 Division 1. The following season he helped Nantes win the French Championship and was also the league's top scorer with 27 goals and 36 appearances. Halilid a three-quarters year went on to spend five years at La Belle Joya, appearing in a total of 163 league matches and scoring 92 goals for Nantes, also becoming league top scorer in the 1984 Euro 85 season with 28 goals. In 1986 Halilid a three-quarters year decided to return to Mostar so he could spend more time with his father, who in the meantime fell seriously ill. While negotiating a new contract with Nantes, he intentionally asked for a salary bigger than anything the club could afford so that he could be released and return home. However, Francis Beaurely, chairman of Paris Saint-Germain, stepped in and made him a fantastic offer to sign a one-year contract with the intention of bringing Halilid a three-quarters year to Parc des Princes in order to strengthen the team for their upcoming 1986 Euro 87 European Cup campaign. Halilid a three-quarters year accepted the offer and went on to appear for the club in the first 18 games of the 1986 Euro 87 season, scoring eight goals. However, his mother died during the season and it was then that Halilid a three-quarters year decided to finally retire from active football. International career, Halilid a three-quarters year was capped 15 times for the Yugoslav national team, scoring eight goals. After debuting as a full international in June 1976, 
He also appeared in a few matches for Yugoslavia under-21 in 1978, helping them win the 1978 European Under-21 Championship where he claimed the Golden Player Award for the best player in the tournament. Halilada three-quarters year, who was 26 at the time, took advantage of the rule that allowed two players over the age of 21 to participate a Euro hence him and Volimir's age were the two senior players brought in to strengthen the under-21 squad. Spanning nine years, Halilada three-quarters year's time with the national team was marked by frequently alternating ups and downs, periods of automatic inclusion followed by years-long omissions and frustrating substitute stints. He made his debut as a substitute at Euro 76 under head coach Bia E. Mladinja during the third place match versus Holland that Yugoslavia lost to a Euro 3 at Zagreb's Maximir Stadium. The 23 year old Halilada three quarters year came on for Slavia and Angstrom one half Ungol. Over the next couple of years, he recorded two more substitute appearances a Euro first in September 1976 in a friendly versus Italy in Rome and then in November 1977 at home versus Spain. Euro 80 qualifying, it was not until October 1978 that now 26 year old Halilada three quarters year got his first national team start a Euro the opening Euro 80 qualifying clash versus Spain at home in Maximir. With his first inclusion in the starting lineup by returning coach Mladinia also came his first goal a Euro Yugoslavia was down 0 a Euro 2 in the first half when Halilada three quarters year pulled one back in the 44th minute for 1 a Euro 2, which ended up being the final score as Yugoslavia again lost at home to Spain. With his performance versus Spain, Halilada three quarters year s stock was somewhat raised and as a result he got to start the next qualifier away at Romania that Yugoslavia also lost, this time to a Euro 3. The second consecutive qualifier loss prompted the end of Bia E. Mladinia's time as head coach a Euro he got replaced by interim coach Trina three quarters in Jerkovia. Halilada three quarters year played the next friendly match under Jerkovia, scoring a hat trick versus Greece. The resumption of Euro 80 qualifying five months later in April 1979 saw the return of Miljan Miljania to the Yugoslav bench as the FA's permanent solution at the head coaching position. Miljania made major changes to the team he inherited from Ladinia with Halilada three quarters year one of the many casualties. The changes worked as Yugoslavia won its remaining four qualifiers as well as its two friendlies versus Italy and Argentina but the opening two losses still proved too much to overcome as Plavai finished a point behind Spain in the group and didn't progress to Euro 80. 1982 World Cup, Halilada three-quarters year made two substitute appearances at the 1982 World Cup, playing the last 15 minutes of the controversial group match versus Spain as well as the entire second half versus Honduras. For the position of forward at the tournament Miljania preferred Zafet Suayir. In his later interviews Halilada three-quarters year often expressed dismay with head coach Miljania for not giving him a more prominent role in the Yugoslav team at the 1982 World Cup. On more than one occasion in the 2000s and 2010s retired Halilada three-quarters year expressed bitterness over not getting a bigger part in the national team during the 1970s and 1980s, sarcastically citing the fact my surname was too long for Belgrade scoreboards thus insinuating that he feels the fact he's Muslim may have been the reason for his modest playing time in the national team. Coaching career, Raja Casablanca, in 1997 he signed up for Raja Casablanca, one of the biggest Moroccan clubs. In the span of two years, he won the Moroccan Championship and the African Champions League. These successes raised his international profile. Lille OSC in October 1998 he began to coach Lille OSC, which at the time was struggling to survive in the French Second League. During the season 1999 Euro 2000, Lille OSC abruptly smashed the Second League. Immediately during its first season in the French Ligue 1, Lille OSC finished third and thus qualified for the European Champions League. He became very famous in France because of his professionalism and tactical science and was bestowed the nickname of Coach Baird. After finishing fifth in the 2001 Euro 2002 season, Coach Baird decided to quit the club due to a lack of ambition of its directors. Stade Rennes, in November 2002, he was recruited in order to rescue the French club Stade Rennes, which he did. 
he started to become one of the most sought-after coaches in Europe, and whilst being sought by some German and Spanish clubs, joined Paris Saint-Germain in summer 2003. Paris Saint-Germain, during his first season at the helm of Paris Saint-Germain, the club realized one of the greatest and most unexpected seasons in its history by winning the French Cup and arriving second in the championship, just behind Olympique Lyonnais. Unfortunately Haylard a three-quarters year s second season was not that successful and he was fired in February 2005 while the team was ranked seventh in the championship. Trabzonspor, from October 2005 to June 2006, he moved to Turkey in order to coach Trabzonspor. The club finished in fourth place, just behind the three big clubs from Istanbul. Boek Tai, Galatasaray and Fenerbahar Section E. Although the team qualified for the UEFA Cup, he decided to quit Turkey. Karti Eid for national team. In May 2008 he was recruited to train the very ambitious Karti Eid for national team. In a two-year unbeaten run in qualifiers, the team reached both the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations and the 2010 FIFA World Cup in South Africa. However, during the quarter-finals of the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations against Algeria, Karti Eidva were eliminated during extra time. The disappointment was huge among the people in Karti Eidva, for whom the national football team played a central social role. In addition, the country was at that period facing a significant political crisis. As a consequence of this instability, Vaid Halilad a three-quarters year was fired four months before the start of the World Cup. Dinamo Zagreb on August 16, 2010 he was announced as the new coach of Dinamo Zagreb, signing two and a half year long contract. He came in as replacement for Volimia Zajk who just got fired after the team was eliminated from the Champions League qualifying after losing on penalties to Moldovan club Sheriff Tiraspol. Right away, club fans took to Halil at a three-quarters year as Dinamo started playing attractive and a more attacking style of football. On September 16, Exactly one month after signing his contract, he led Dinamo to a somewhat improbable 2-0 victory over Villarreal at the start of the Europa League, which enhanced Halilad a three-quarters year's reputation in Zagreb. However, despite some encouraging results, Dinamo failed to qualify for the next stage in the European competition, losing the deciding match in December at home against PAOK. Despite the setback, Halilad a three-quarters year stayed on due to support of both the fans and club management. In the domestic league, the club was a runaway leader without any real competition. Towards the end of the season, issues arose over the renegotiation of terms of his contract and on May 6, 2011 he left the club following a vicious shouting incident with Dinamo's executive president Stravo Mamia in the team dressing room during half-time of the league match between Dinamo and Inter Zopri Ia. Algerian national team, on June 22, 2011, the Algerian Football Federation announced that Halilad a three-quarters year would take over the vacant Algerian national team manager position starting on July 1. On July 2, the nomination was made official with Halilad a three-quarters year signing a three-year contract. On November 14, 2012, Algeria invited Bosnia and Herzegovina for a friendly match. Algeria lost 0 a Euro 1 in 90 plus 3 on a rainy night in Algiers. On November 19, 2013, Algeria secured a spot at 2014 FIFA World Cup having beaten a 2013 Africa Cup of Nations runners-up Burkina Faso 3 a Euro 3 on aggregate, during CAF third round playoffs. The Algerian team's World Cup performance was a significant surprise as they advanced from the group stage and faced Germany in the round of June 16, 31, 2014. The team played a strong match against the powerful German side extending the game into extra time before it finished 2-1. Halilidzik was frequently noted for his strategic counter-attacking tactics, calm yet motivating influence on the players, and skillful game management. On July 7, 2014, he left his role, despite presidential pleas not to. Honours, player, FK Vilea Three Quarters Mostar, Yugoslav Cup, 1980 Euro 81, FC Nantes, French First League, 1982 Euro 83, Yugoslavia, UEFA European Under 21 Championship, 1978, individual, 
French first league top scorer, 1982 a Euro 83, 1984 a Euro 85. 1978 UEFA European Under-21 Championship Golden Player, 1978 UEFA European Under-21 Football Championship Golden Boot, Naga, Lille OSC, French Second League, 1999 Euro 2000, Paris Saint-Germain, Coupe de France, 2003 Euro 04, Raja Casablanca, CAF Champions League, 1997, Personal Life. During the Bosnian War in 1992, Halilada three quarters year was wounded in Mostar, but recovered within a few months. He left Mostar in May 1993 due to threats received from the Croatian Defence Council as the armed conflict between Bosniaks and Croats escalated in Herzegovina. Following his departure, his house was looted and burned down. On July 23, 2004, during his tenure as the manager of Paris Saint Germain, they had received Chevalier of the La Copyright Guin d'Honneur of the French Republic. Halilada three quarters year is married and has two children. His primary residence is in Lille where his family lives. References External links Vaid Halilada three quarters year at Sport Becca Raja at Vaid Halilada three quarters year Yugoslavia stats at Representation RS Vaid Halilada three quarters year Euro FIFA competition record Vaid Halilada three quarters year at national-football-teams.com